Okay, another trig problem. Um, you know, not not real complicated, but we had to be a little careful with it. So it gives us a picture of a triangle, and it wants to know an angle. So now remember that uh, IV uses this little hat over the letter that's the vertex instead of writing um, what you're used to seeing, which is something that looks like this. So this would normally be an angle EAC. All right, telling you the vertex is at A. Uh, so if I want to find an angle, and all I know are sides, I'm going to have to use the law of cosines, uh, which is right down here. C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. That's on your formula sheet. Um, the big thing here is this side and this angle have to be opposite each other. So I want to find the angle here. So that means these are going to be C. So I'm going to go 2.4 plus a 5. 2.4 squared equals 3.1 squared plus 2.6 squared minus 2 times 3.1 times 2.6 cosine of C. Now you got to be careful here. Uh, this part here is all going to get stuck together and we can't move it. So we're going to have to do 2.4 squared and then subtract 3.1 squared and the 2.6 squared. So 2.4 squared is 5.76. I'm going to add those two together right there. So 3.1 squared plus 2.6 squared is 16.37. So 16.37 minus 2. Uh, let's multiply those together too. 2 times 3.1 times 2.6. 2 times 3.1. 16.12. Now remember, those are not like terms, so we have to do this like this. Five point seven six minus sixteen point two seven. So negative ten point six one. So negative ten point six one equals negative. 16.12 cosine of C. We're going to divide by that. That's going to give us cosine C equals a decimal. Um, I hit minus instead of negative. Six five eight one. Uh, you gotta throw it back to this to get an angle out of here. We gotta hit second cosine so we can get cosine inverse. Sig figs, 48.8 degrees. We'll come back and use that in the next part in a second. Here. 